by you. If you're enjoying my content, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, swing by in the comments, and tell me how it'd mean a lot to me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's go. What a yapping, getting past like excrement. Dashing for the president. Dead was better than dashing for the president. Rapping for the heck of it. <sighs> Games just aren't that fun anymore, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I mean, I used to have so much fun in the past, you know, but now, now I just can't find anything Sounds to play, Sounds identical really. to me. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna get off into that, guys. That is me. That sounds just like my group. If you're on the gaming side of social media, you've probably heard people, or even yourself, say stuff like this before. People complaining about how there's nothing to play anymore. How much fun they used to have when they were kids, or even up so, to just- So, this video came out in 2021, I believe, and 2022, nothing has damn changed. Everything is still, like, still the same. A few weeks ago, and now nothing games to play. just but don't hit like they used to. This statement always confused me, because from my perspective, there's plenty of games that I want to play right now, but just don't have the time for. And even more oh. that I'm looking forward to releasing within the next few months. Until I watched a video by Optimus, a pretty large commentary channel, that made a video titled, Gaming Just Isn't The Same Anymore. And it gave me an entirely different perspective on why people are finding games dull, and helped me understand their point of view. However, I felt like there were flaws in his argument, and would personally disagree that games are just boring now. So, and before games, when we used to play them when we were younger. Yes, they were better, but you gotta look at it. When we played it when we were younger, we had no responsibilities. Um, we had all the time in the world, or I did anyhow. I got to play games whenever I wasn't in school or in sports. Uh, but now I got a job, dude. I got bills. I got a family to support. And I can't just throw all my times in a video game. That's why I'm not good at COD no more. But that's why I don't really like COD no more. Because it's just full of kids like me when I was younger. And streamers now. I feel like the competitive edge has really ruined multiplayer games. Everything's just so competitive. Before I continue, I want to make it clear that I'm not bashing on Optimus. I actually like the video and agree with most of the points he made. And if you like COD, Valorant, or Madden, that's cool. Reskin. This video isn't a bash Madden's on you. I'm glad reskin. you're enjoying those games. That's not what this is about. So a big thing Optimus touched on in his video was how he used to love older games. And throughout the entire video, he mainly referred to big budget shooter games. Saying that how he was getting bored of COD, and the only game he actually mentioned he was looking forward to was the new Battlefield. And it's not only- He was really disappointed. That game's got season, a season one now and a patch and it still fucking sucks. I play it, but it still sucks. That game came out, bro. Optimus who I've noticed this with, but it's hundreds of people online who say the same things, but only play this one genre. And maybe it's not even the genre you're tired of, but games feeling Hell, unfinished, no DLC games taking really priority, the toxic environment eye. of competitive, hey. or think the quality of these big budget titles the have simply lowered. Game, in my so many people are tunnel visioned into only playing these Kill big Warzone budget AAA out. games put out by these huge companies. And not only AAA games, but oftentimes the shooters within these AAA games. And it's See, no wonder why people are starting to feel the jaded. Thing. These AAA companies, they don't give two shits about you, the player. They care about what comes out of your wallet. Indie game like Dinkum. Dinkum that's out right now is made by one guy, and it is extremely polished to be an early access game, and it's multiplayer also. It is really good, and he's a single creator, while this AAA has hundreds of people. They don't give a shit about you, the player. They really don't. They, they care about the money in your wallet. And that's what sucks. That's why AAA titles get reskinned. So they don't give a damn. They know you're going to pay for it. Other than a few, most of these games play out exactly the same. You go around, pew pew, sure. shoot the enemy, pew, pew. one wins, one loses. And yeah, I know I'm boiling this lot. down to the most basic rendition of an explanation, but when every game someone plays revolves around this premise, it's going to get stale. Especially when the game itself Valorant doesn't skill, evolve. Bro. Optimus mentioned how this was the first year that he didn't check out the new COD game, and I didn't honestly, check out I'm surprised he's been playing this long. Out. 
AAA games take a lot to make, so it leads them to take a lot less risks than, say, an indie developer would. Right. So while COD has minor changes with each generation of games, the core mechanics stay the same, creating <laughs> an overall lower skill ceiling. There's a big reason why a game like Super Smash Bros. Melee still has a thriving community. It's because even though the game came out in 2001, Damn. people are still finding new tech and are constantly improving at the game, keeping things fresh with every single out. Tournament. Now remember, and I'm not saying COD or game. other shooters don't take skill, but at a certain point, Actually, you're gonna hit a skill ceiling, and it's at that point that right. the game starts getting stale. Right. Even when people try to switch games, they're tunnel visioned into only looking at a specific group of games, big name titles that are extremely popular multiplayer games. But other than a few outliers, when people try to switch to one of these games, they're essentially getting a very similar experience to what they've been playing for more than an entire decade. Sure, game mechanics definitely vary between see, games. Though, but if you see like CSGO, been a while, been around for a long time. Rainbow Six Siege, been around for a long time. Same multiplayer. Uh, Battlefield, unfortunately. Battlefield Bad Company 2 was the last good Battlefield, I'm gonna be honest. It's just... Them games, you can play different. Especially Siege and Battlefield Bad Company 2. Environments are destructible. Yeah, they're destructible in all the other battlefields, but Battlefield Bad Company 2 had something about it. Where you, We were talking about this. Me and Stick were talking about this not long ago. Battlefield Bad Company 2 just had an aspect where you could destroy buildings to the ground, to the foundation, and it just changed the gameplay. Same way with Rainbow Six Siege. I've been on the Rainbow Six Siege kick there for a while, and it was because you every game's different. Like, every match was different. I could attack over here while shooting a hole over here, shooting through a crack right here. CSGO, it just ha it's just great competitive play. Same with Valorant. Valorant is about, like, CSGO, just more futuristic. So, yeah, that that's them games. Them games are going to always be popular. Four of the game stays consistent, making the overall feel... feel very similar. And couple this with the fact that we've been in quarantine for the past one and a half years, where man's really just been playing games. She is like, not when me. I was a kid, yeah, I was only work. allowed to play on weekends. And I hated that, that rule. But it made it so that games felt you. special. I would look forward to getting on my favorite games every weekend. So grinding games every day for that long, of course it's gonna get boring. Especially games that get repetitive or feel like you can't break a skill ceiling in. Another thing I frequently see is how people say how games that really used bothers to me. That's something I need to touch on real quick. These parents who tell their kids like you can't play games during the week. You can't um, drink cokes, only water, all that. Why? Why? Why are you implementing them on your kid? That on your kids? Your kids are gonna grow up and be pieces of shit anyways. So let them do what they want as a kid. Jesus. To be so much better. Optimus even so stated I, himself I how much fun babies. he used they to have with older games like Zelda Wind Waker, Mario Sunshine, good and game. Pokemon. But what confuses the me is how these same game. game franchises are still being put out. And personally, I say that they're even better than before. I don't know if it's because people have the pre notion idea that Nintendo only makes kids' games, wrong. but Bayonetta once again, I'm seeing the same trend of people not venturing outside of their mainstream games. I mean, just based off the games Optimus mentioned, Breath of the Wild is the best open world I've ever played. Agreed, Breath of the Wild 2 is on its way out. Mario Odyssey Mario is on the same Odyssey. level, if not even shit. better it's than Mario game. Sunshine. Bowser's Fury is Never relatively it, recent, it, and while Pokemon's been shaky, the trailers for the new, new games Pokemon, have got me Pokemon, cautiously excited for my hate. favorite franchise again. Which leads me to the main point of this video, it, or sort of my extremely simple solution to people who say games are boring and are getting stale. Instead of trying to gain enjoyment out of the same shooters and sports games that get recycled every year, just look at things outside the mainstream bubble. Right. It doesn't matter if you have a certain console or a PC. There's plenty what of I games like on everything. Personally? You just is when I start getting tired of multiplayer in the competitive aspect, I like to play single player games, man. Kick back, relax. Just there's some good single player games out though right now. As far as July 2022, there are actually some decent 
Single just have to games. look. And if money is an issue, then don't worry. You aren't forced into only playing free-to-play games. $10, $15, $20, $15, $25. Bro, Not to mention all the- You literally- What the hell they doing next door? Jesus. You really just said if you ain't got money, you got $10, $15. If you ain't got money to buy games, free-to-play is all you're gonna play. There ain't nothing wrong with that either. I've been there. But, dude, really? Other games go on sale really often too. You aren't forced into only playing free-to-play games. If you've been if stuck on PC, playing the Epic same types of games, games over and over, there's probably so much you've missed. Hollow so Knot's much good. good stuff out there. But don't game? just pick up a single-player game, not enjoy it, and then claim you don't like single-player games at all. Oftentimes, you just haven't found the game that hits home with you. I mean, it's not like I like every single game I play, Super Meat even Boy, if it's man, highly that's a, acclaimed. That's a good and if you're just really not into single-player games, and you really while. tried but just think they're boring, and only like multiplayer action and PvP, that's like I break, promise, there's games yep. out there that are extremely well made that I'm it's still playing way, right though, now, now that feel so different from what we're I mean, used it's to. Fun. Spell I mean, Break, I Bed Wars, it, and Smash are some of my favorites right now. Spell break Trust me, there's a plethora a of games piece, out dude. there. Like I mentioned Spell earlier, I'm it. not saying that these mainstream games are all bad. That's not this video. And if you still enjoy them, then don't let me stop you. In fact, I'm glad you enjoy them. You're better off than most people out there. <laughs> I used to love these mainstream FPS games when I was younger, but dude. at some point, things just got boring. I've been at the point where I was losing interest in games, and all I've really been playing at the time was Overwatch for months on end. Sometimes me and my friends would hop on Destiny or COD, but halfway through, we just stopped playing and just talked Destiny, because at that point, just the games Destiny, had gotten... But you did the same crap over and over and over and over. I ain't gonna say what I probably just look like saying that, but Destiny, I can, I, I can only play that for a little while. That, that game's too grindy. So repetitive that we got on to talk and not the games. And other than the occasional Pokemon game, it wasn't until I started to play other genres of games outside of shooters that I really started to take an interest in so much more that's out there, introducing me to an entirely new world of art. Called single player games. What a yapping, getting past like excrement. Dashing for the president. Dead ones better than. Dashing for the president. Rapping for the.